you know when it comes to the script i could probably write out like something about my history with ice barriers and archetype uh how long i've been playing it and you know how much i want the deck to be good but uh, honestly at the moment the only thing in that I'm really thinking about is how mad I am that it was so easy to do something out of this deck compared to how much I had to go through to get literally anything out of Amazonas. For an archetype renowned as bottom of the barrel and playable garbage, it was actually very pleasant to work with, especially compared to the nightmare that I struggled with last time. Hey, speaking of Ice Barriers, have you heard of the great Ice Ball team? For our first replay, we'll be going up against Slifer Numeron. You might not realize it's Slifer at first glance, but yep, that's Slifer. That's Memories of Hope. Our opponent appears to be using Peaceful Burial as a way to get Slifer into the graveyard for the revived Sky God, but uh, we won't be seeing that card resolve here, so uh, it is what it is. Our opponent's going to go first. They chose this, by the way. I, I really can't stress this enough. I lost this die roll. They're going to summon their four gates, Nake Sungma. Sungma's going to banish itself and all the others and they're going to set two. We're gonna start off by normal summoning revealer. They're gonna fire trap trick and they're sending peaceful burial. We're gonna make hex of spirit. Uh, they're going to peaceful burial. They trap trick for it. So I just assumed that at, this is probably a solid ash target. We don't have a great combo light here because we don't, we only drew half of our two card combo, but that is fine. We'll still be able to do something. We're going to do special summon speaker for the ice barrier and summon Trish zero, just banish the field to keep them off of Umeron Network. We're going to banish uh, Speaker for a token, and then the token is going to be attributed for wins for Geomancer. Uh, here, I'm going to use Geomancer calling Light, so that way none of the uh, level four, or the level one Numerons can punch over it. Unfortunately, I do forget that uh, Sugma is a dark, so a bit of a throw there, just discarded a card for nothing, but we'll just go ahead and make Trish Zero pass. They get Numeron Network, Sunya Returns. We're going to take a nice 3,000. They'll set Trap Trick, punch over the Geomancer, and pass turn. For a turn, we rip a copy of Freezing Chains. We're going to start off with Zujin. Uh, they're going to chain Trap Trick for the Revive Sky God. Uh, we're going to activate Winds to add back Revealer, and then Revealer pitching the Gungnikabite to summon Hexa Spirit. Uh, Bubby's going to send another Zujin, and we're going to reborn the Geomancer to make Coral Anemone. Anemone brings back the uh, Zujin. And here we're going to make Dragite, uh, just activate the top five, just for funsies, you know, just because we can. Uh, but more importantly than that, we have well over lethal here. Well, not well over lethal, but just over lethal. It's still lethal. For our next game, we'll be up against Chaos Synchro Bistial. Our opponent doesn't seem to have the best of hands, but it is what it is. We're going to start with Zuijin, Special Summon Speaker. Activate wins over the ice barrier, tributing the Zuijin for revealer. We're going to activate revealer, pitching another Zuijin, and our opponent infinite impermanence is us. So we're going to go ahead and just make Bahama Shark, summon totally froggers, and pass the turn. Not great, but it is still a negate. We're going to activate Shell of Chaos, banishing Chaos Valkyria. I'm going to let both of these resolve. Uh, I figured that there was a juicier hit than the Shell of Chaos. They're going to draw into the Bistro Lebellion, which that will be negated. Totally Froggers is going to give us back Revealer for the follow-up. We're going to normal the Revealer, and then uh, that allows us to special summon Wayne, because I control Ice Barrier and my opponent controls a monster. Wayne is going to grab Freezing Chains. We're going to activate Speaker to summon a token, and then activate Winds to add back Speaker. We're going to pitch good Gigabytes for Hexa Spirit. Hexa Spirit is going to send Warlock of the Ice Barrier. Here we're going to be making Dragite for in case of this back row. Uh, then we make Stealth Kragen. I do mismanage my resources here a lot. I forgot that I didn't activate Coral Anemone here. I was kind of deep in the tank. Uh, so we'll special summon back Zuijin. Realize that Coral Anemone can be activated and make Bubble Reef. And this is lethal. And now for our final game, we'll be facing against a pack viewer who's in having just a little bit too much of the goo. They're on Trap Tricks Labyrinth, it looks like. Um, Trap, Trap Tricks Labyrinth. All right, we have opened our two card combo. We have, however, unfortunately, while we do have access to Revealer Dragoons, we drew our one of Geomancer, which is the Garnet. So we have to do some really crusty shit here. We're gonna Dragoons to search for Nectabyst. Uh, 
we're going to send both of those to the graveyard for a gigabyte. That's going to uh, take a card out of our opponent's hand and draw them into an ash, unfortunately. Will Freezing Chains back Revealer activate Small World? That gets ashed, which sucks, but it is what it is. We're going to Winds for Speaker. Link both those off for Coral Anemone. Good Gigabyte adds us Water Art Alley. We're going to Special Summon back Bubby. Bubby is going to be sending Zuijin. Speaker is going to summon a token, and that's going to be Bubble Reef with Owie. I would have preferred something else to tribute off the Owie, but that is fine. Our opponent is going to Fire, Trap, Tantalizing Tune, and here I decide to Owie. We're going to take the Labyrinth. It really doesn't make sense to take any of these cards. They don't really do anything. I would rather cut my opponent on the Labyrinth part of their deck. Uh, this was a huge gamble. I didn't need to take the risk and just empty my field. But thankfully, we weren't punished because Trap Tricks just does not really OTK with a hand like that. Uh, however, we are going to have to contend with two Trap Holes. Uh, we have Freezing Curses, so we'll go ahead and bring it back Revealer, which gets Floodgated. However, you might notice we have exactly five Waters engraved for the Molen Glacia in our hand. Thankfully, they're going to pop Freezing Chains with Vermelio, Summoned off Sarah, Set Time Space. We're going to activate Mullen Glacia, put them on no cards at hand, force out the Gravedigger's Chapel, or rather bait it out, um, then go to the battle phase to remove Ping. Uh, here, I didn't see the line that I'm about to do with Neptibus. I'm just not really used to thinking in the way that this deck needs me to yet, but uh, we do see the line afterwards. We're going to go into Arian Post. Arian Post is going to banish Paces, and during our opponent's turn, Paces is going to come back threatening a white or a whale or an Askan, and upon seeing that, our opponent will disconnect. The deck is... fine. So many of the new cards have really frustrating restrictions on them to make handling the deck on turn one a bit of a chore, like Zuijin not being able to reborn itself the same turn it was sent, or Wayne needing a monster on both fields, but once you get to turn three and beyond, things get a lot smoother. In a more casual setting, I think you could really do damage with this deck. If I had to ask for just one card to try fixing the archetype, I think something actually worth sending off Hexaspirit would go a long way. 